all right another day of trying to make lilia look good now again you already know lilia is a character who not to mean people really enjoy or like um it just feel like with her terms of her kits it's like two years too late you know like she seemed like a character to be really nice if this like in the 2022 meta and stuff like that again being a very powerful infect character and in a dps but there are just so many characters that kind of counteract her past where pretty much um you want to have the um what's it called the power the power of desire is that what they call it? power of desire debuff on the enemy and then at the end of the turn it does like some corrosive damage and also give you an attack buff for each enemy that get hit with that um debuff but unfortunately because there are so many characters or units that can cleanse through a, either a card effect or passive it kind of counteracts her own passive like it would have been really nice if she had something where like sabnak where if you ever use sabnak you'll know that her debuff card if that debuff gets removed it still applies her mental um mental illusion debuffs right so that is really really nice for going against passive cleansing characters see that character was definitely meant to be in 2024 but i feel like with lilia she cannot counter a um cleanse character so again she feel like a character that was like kind of like left behind but again we're gonna be trying to make her look good as we're gonna be using the og red arthur now the reason why i'm using him is because if you don't know with og red arthur uh, with his holy relic he does apply a red debuff on the enemy that lowers the enemy defense stats by 20 percent. i think it's defense related stats by 20 percent. which again her, his debuff ends up being the first thing that these clan character like dk melios will take away um obviously he doesn't counter stuff like with um red gother where gother cleanses the debuffs regardless but at least at least with um arthur if you go in a dk melios situation at least you'll be only cleansing arthur debuff instead of lilia which then allows you to keep getting your attack buff which again is really really good and then i have percival in the back for the fence way stat boost and he sometimes can be very clutch as a backline character so again hopefully you guys enjoyed the video um make sure you guys like subscribe again and let's suffer all right let's get to trolling oh wow i guess we can go for our, our infect play then go for this and then uh i guess we can go for his eskina right here now he is gonna get that explode damage which is going to be very unfortunate sees damage this is enough see ah oh, it was not enough maybe i should have got rid of enough on me because he, he was going to instantly cleanse God, Elite Art took so much damage. Holy snap. All right, so we're going to get our boost right here. Dang, Arthur took so much damage. But yeah, we're going to get our boost right here for a little bit of attack. So we're going to go for this and then aim for Arthur. And we should be able to nuke his Nafumi right here. Or at least break that stance, hopefully. Oh, it didn't break. I thought it was going to do way more damage than that. <clears throat> Alright, he goes for his stance again. And we got to try to break, th break through. I guess I can put like the base stat boost on my characters afterwards. And see if that works out. Oh, you know what? I probably can kill him right here. And then do this. So this should be enough damage now. Yeah. I want to say it should be enough damage. And now there's GG. Alright, so I guess I can go for my base stat boost. Because um, with her, we're going to be able to... Increase our damage dealt. And give it a little bit of stats to herself. So see ya.
Ow. GG. Alright, what we got, boys? Oh my. Got the Sins team. Uh he might just aim straight for my Escanor. <laughs> and then I won't be I won't have nothing afterwards. I mean I have Percival, which kinda increased my defense late stats a little bit. So maybe it won't blast me all the way. We'll have to see. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage. Hopefully we tank. Oh my god, Arthur, you suck. Alright, you took a lot of explode damage. Uh, and I'm assuming with his Meliodas, he's gonna get his boost pretty soon. Mm. Alright, I'm just gonna go for this then. Again, we have Percival out right now, so. We should at least be able to um, increase our damage with Percival. And then with Percival, he's going to soak up a lot of that damage as well. So that's going to be really nice for us. All right, so he has to pretty much AoE twice to get his boost. Um, we have damage cap and we have Percival who's going to be soaking up that damage. So um, we we'll have to see what happens. We do have rare timing link too. Okay, gets rid of my Arthur, which is fine. It's not like I needed Arthur. And now he has his boost. And unfortunately, my hand is absolutely trash. Because if I had like a single target, it would have been way better for me. Um, So my best thing is to probably start attacking with Percival. First of all, should do a lot more damage than anybody else on my team. Yep. Especially because he lost two characters. Yep. Like I figured. We lost two characters, so first of all, going to pop off. All you have to do is just attack like twice with a single target and you'll be good. And with this, he has pretty much um, either he can cleanse with Gother, or he's going to keep spamming attack cards. Doesn't really matter because either way we're going to heal up. Oh, he got the flame debuff on us. All right, I'm just going to go for this then. Again, we're just going to keep increasing our attack related stats anyways. Oh, dang, I got disabled. Uh, I still should be okay. He tried to push for his ultimate with Merlin. Now, remember, we do have damage cap as well on our characters. so And he just disables himself as well. Nice. I guess he didn't really um, pay attention too much. Yeah, GG. It was either way that uh, my Lily was going to win. It's just that I had like my damage cap and then I could heal. So, yeah, GG. All right, we got a Gelda team. Um, I don't know if this guy is dodge or not, but might as well use this up. Put a little buff on our Escanor. This will be super tanky. I think he was 215. It could be dodge food. Oh my god, yeah, it was. Well, at least with um Lilia, we'll be able to gain a little bit of attack and have infect at the same time. We just got to hope we get more of Eskinor cards right here. Okay, we got a little bit of Eskinor cards. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is... um, Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about... Golly, doing so much damage to us, too. Now, at least we have the boost. So my best thing is probably to infect and if we get another AoE that'd be nice as well. Oh, we got a single target. That's even better for us. Cause now we have like three attack boosts on our characters, which is really good. 
I don't know if it's gonna kill. I hope it does. Oh, hopefully Escanor damage goes to Meliodas, please. Oh, I'm dead. I'm god dang dead. Oh my god. Cause what I do it, I infect it. Um, I probably didn't need to infect, but literally my only option. So it's probably gonna AOE blast me right now. Unfortunately. Eskner sold. Oh, wait, is he going to single target us? Oh, my God. <laughs> Ain't no way we just take that. Oh, my God. That's a 6-6 six, six smelly, too. Oh, my God. That's funny. All right. Looks like you're healing right back up, boys. All right, we're going to heal right back up then. I think it's going to kill. Oh, no, it doesn't even kill. It's all right. We're going to full heal my team. And again, we still have with Percival the um, Will of Endurance. So we be we should be able to tank a hit. Again, Percival solos Gelda, so it's okay. Especially when we start losing characters. All right, heals. Oh my god, that's dupes. Holy snap. Yeah, that's 6-6. Six, six. Holy snap. That's god dang 6-6. Six, six. Holy. Now you can just tell when characters are like 6-6, six, six, bro. Now, let's see who's immortal. Me or his Gelda? Who do y'all think is going to be more immortal? Me or his Gelda? I can heal up. With my Lilia, he can't heal up. He, well, he has red timing link. We both red timing link, but I'm gonna keep getting attack boost. Cause you gotta remember, I, I continuously get damage cap, so <laughs> his damage is gonna keep being on my damage cap because of me. So I'm going to solo Gelda right here. Okay, I know it's cl it's crazy to think about me being able to solo Gelda. It's crazy. Okay, that's fine. Plus, he's gonna be getting infected pretty soon. Especially because we can take away old cage. So, remember, guys, we have damage cap, so he can't do anything if you keep healing. <laughs> I think we take away gauge too with our infect card at silver. Yeah, we do. Got him. So, you get infected right here. Yep, and you lose gauge. And remember, guys, we get the heal right back up. You lucky I didn't get a gold card. Oh, wow. Got a lot of damage right there. Dang, I don't like her how her ultimate just like one turn, though. It's kind of unfortunate. Oh, we should heal right back up. <laughs> I'm so toxic. So he's going to ult. And then we're going to remove that buff instantly. Again, if we had like a gold infect card, it would have been so nice for us. But I just gonna, I'm just going to be keep getting my um, other card. And we get the corrosion, which is really good too. It's also a plus. So we're going to keep getting our ults. Again, it's a battle of Gelda versus me. Again, if he goes, if I go beyond that 50% damage cap, I, I think I lose. So I kind of need a gold infect or something. I need like a gold infect card. Because he's going to keep just blasting me beyond that damage cap. Yeah. Which is unfortunate because that's the only card that can take away gauge for me. Oh, snap. We got a gold uh infect card. Nice. The fact that <laughs> the fact that Lilia is like competing against Gelda is hilarious. All right, so this is gonna be pretty much GG, um, pretty soon. I'm let him ult just because um with my damage cap, he's not gonna be able to kill unless he stalls right here. If he stalls, I'm just gonna go for my gold infect. That's why I've been holding on to my card. 
Let me see my HP. Golly, you see how much damage that did? Oh my god. All right, let's lower his HP. I, I think I lose regardless, but at least you guys had a little bit of fun watching me uh play against a Gelda. Again, once I hit 50%, I am dead -o. Yeah, I'm I'm starting to be below 50%, which is not good for me. Um Yeah, this is not good. This is not good. Dun, dun, dun. Let me just go for this card then. Okay, I healed back to full HP. Like, he does so much damage to me. <laughs> he does so much. Like, it's like... I have to go beyond the damage cap right here. I think I'll live if I go for this card. I don't know. Let's see. If I can go beyond... If I stay on a 50%, I think I should be good. That did no damage. Holy snap. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. That did no damage. Oh my god. That did no damage. Yeah, I see why she sucks. Come on, tank. Oh, snap. She tanked. Oh my god, are we gonna be able to solo Gelda? <sighs> She's infected. Which is, and we got an ultimate. Oh. Okay. Full HP? No, I'm not full HP. Ah, I was so close. <sighs> I wasn't full HP. It was so close, y'all. <laughs> if I would have got the gold infect a lot sooner, it would have been nice. Maybe I shouldn't have took away that guy's old gauge and kept, and kept my uh, infect card. So if you ever get in a situation with Lilia versus Gelda, save, save for the gold infect card and then you will win. Trust me, I'm a YouTuber. All right, we got boys. All right, finally we got Ace Sensing. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so I guess I can go for like the Infect play. And I guess we can go for... I guess we can go for this. I was thinking about Escanor, but let's have some fun with it. And go for his Meliodas instead. Oh dang, I didn't even kill anyways. Alright, so that's fine. So with Lilia, um, if he goes for rank up, he's going to cleanse one character. So that'll be two attack buffs for us. If he goes for Meliodas cleanse instead... Then, wait, what? I've never seen somebody rank up Meliodas in my life. What in the world? Bro, I've never seen somebody rank up <laughs> Escanor in my life. Not Escanor, Meliodas. Just because it's like, it doesn't do anything. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a terrible play doing that. So, uh, so weird. Um... Uh, I guess we can go for this then. Again, that was a weird play. Again, I've never seen somebody rank up Escanor. Not Escanor, Meliodas. I don't know why I keep having Escanor in my head. Meliodas on a sin scene. It's always Escanor, if anything. Well, Lilia just clapped. And that should be a forfeit. Because ain't no way you playing this out. Golly, that was 6-6. Six, six. That still took away 50% of my HP. All right, maybe you hit damage cap. Golly. All right, we got Eskinor team. I, I just smelt the Eskinor team. All right, so we have multiple, and I mean multiple chances right now. Oh, this is low dupes. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna hit them with the the you know. We're just gonna spam. Again, Meliodas can only cleanse like so much, so. I wonder if I should have buffed up. 
It probably doesn't matter. So we're gonna take a little bit of explode damage because he was two out of six. Golly, did I say little? I mean a good old chunk. Holy snap. Now it's all about if we can get rid of um Meliodas. Okay, he goes for my Escanor. Okay, he keeps going after Escanor. And then he just uh does that. Now we get to take away his gauge. And I guess with this, we'll just do this. Take away his gauge real quick. And then we just spam our heal card. Either I can go for this or I can push from ultimate. So we get damage cap regardless. We get damage cap regardless. So this should take away his old gauge. And let's heal up our team. He's gonna get his boost. But remember, Lilia has damage cap, so he has to take with my gauge regardless. He might just AoE. But again, if Eskin are gone, then he'll just um get hit with explode damage afterwards. So technically doesn't matter. I would say, man. But you doing all that, man. You're gonna still have to um take with my old gauge. And now you have to pray that I don't have another um card. Golly. I don't know. I just like getting rid of his um Merlin right here. Seemed like a cool play to do, especially when you got all these characters just boosted up. Damn. And we just heal up. So now we have full HP on Lilia, which means we have um damage cap set in stone. So even if he AoEs, he can't do much. I don't know why he keep going for that. Cause Lilia removes buffs. Yeah, like it doesn't even matter at that point. Like Lilia removes buffs, buffs with her ultimate. So you going for your gold buff didn't do anything. Yeah, GG.